I don't really care what anyone thinks I should be doing. All I want to do is wrestle. When I first started with the Monster Factory, I said to myself, like, if I got one person to the WWE, I'll be happy. Danny Cage, you have this school at the Monster Factory. He teaches you everything, how to do the cameras, be a referee, build a ring. Whenever we're doing something in here, you do it 100%. I was working in one of these dead-end jobs. As soon as I walked in, I was like, this is awesome. The rush of being in a wrestling ring is like nothing else. Professional wrestling is an eclectic melting pot of misfits. I mean, I'm from Philly, so an underdog is a hungry dog. Part of me didn't want to call myself Twitch, but how many wrestlers do you know not only have Tourette's, but are like open about it? Professional wrestling is a very hard industry to make it in. The odds are against you. I mean, there's thousands of wrestlers every day just trying to get tryouts. But I've gotten more people there than any other coach in the world. I could either walk out as champion or I could go back to flipping burgers. But we have 40 students. They still have to get signed. And they still have to get better. Let's go. My body isn't what it used to be. I saw this goddess crumble. You were good, right now you're not. It's just been an off night. There's a lot of stuff happening. I tried to quit and Dan didn't let me. I have just constant fear. Path to paradise begins in hell. And if you're going through hell, keep going. Go! Oh God. She got invited for a WWE tryout. Wrestle for the WWE? Hell, that's the dream. Make sure they don't kill each other. Or if they do, just clean up. <laughs>